Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of FTL. Today we're going to take a look at how to unlock the Stealth Cruiser on screen. You can see at what times I do what, so if you want to skip the video, feel free to skip through. So first of all, to unlock the Stealth Cruiser, uh, we're just going to do a quick overview on how to do that and then get into the video. So first thing you need to do is you must have an NG crew member with you. Um, after that, you got that. Um, next thing you want to do is find the NG Homeworlds. So during the, your uh, journey through the NG Homeworlds, first thing you're going to want to look for is an empty star and uh, there's going to be a non-distress and no ship detected. So even if you have long range scanners, you won't be able to find the event uh, without actually visiting it. Um, with your NG crew member, you're going to pick the third option and have your NG contact um, them. So uh, basically it's saying that the, there's a fleet of civilian NG ships and basically you're trying to contact them and bring them back. Uh, so you do that, you pick the first option to offer your help and you follow the prompts uh, to find the first quest marker. So the quest marker will be added to the next sector and uh, there will be a decoy and a real quest marker however you will not be able to tell the difference until you get there so what will happen is you will encounter a rebel ship you will be welcomed by this message here uh, you have to make sure that the ship does not escape and when they ask for your surrender you must allow for them to surrender they will then um, offer you uh, some information and another quest marker to, will be added to your map. You will know that you are at the wrong quest marker uh, when they do not offer uh, or ask for surrender and you just destroy the ship. Um, keep in mind which quest marker was the fake one if you get the real one on the first try because then you'll still have two quest markers on your map and you will have to figure out which one you have to get to and you may not have the, enough time. Once you finally reach the last quest marker, uh, you will be encountered by a Mantis ship and you will have to fight the ship. Once you either defeat all the crew members or destroy the ship regularly, you will unlock the stealth cruiser and as well um, you'll get the augmentation of titanium system casing. So that is about the same as the rock plating and it will uh, prevent some damage done to your hull. Alright, so as per usual, to unlock Type B of any of the ships, you have to get two out of the three achievements. Um, and so what we have to do for the first one here it is called Bird of Prey. So what Bird of Prey basically asks you to do is destroy a ship at full health during a single cloak in the stealth cruiser. So this achievement is pretty, pretty easy to get. As you can see, it's the first one. One thing I would recommend is get your cloaks, uh, cloak to at least level two. Uh, even level three sometimes works. So what you want to do when you find this ship is you basically want to cloak, make sure you have enough firepower first, uh, cloak, and then obviously take it out uh, right away. Uh, you have to make sure that you stay cloaked all the way through until the final message where it tells you how much scrap you get or else you won't get the achievement. Something else that helps is the uh, augmentation stealth weapons. This will allow you to fire your weapons, fire your beams without decreasing your uh, cloak length. Okay, so our next achievement um, is called Face Shift. So what you want to do with the Stealth Cruiser avoid nine points of damage during a single cloak. Now this is one of the easier ones to achieve. Um, I recommend again getting your cloak up to two or three but of course this can be done with just a level one cloak. What you're going to want to do is get to the third uh, level of the flagship and once you are there you're going to wait for his the power surge to happen. Um, not the Zoltan shield but when he shoots out like eight points of damage or something nine points of damage um, you want to make sure that those go off that you stealth before so you can pause really quickly and then go right out and just have all those miss you another option to do is be in an asteroid field where um, you know asteroids are hitting you and your opponent may have flak too so you can dodge all those at the same time okay and we are at our last achievement now so basically what you're gonna do for this one this is called tactical approach and for this one you have to make it to with the stealth cruiser to sector A without jumping to a beacon with an environmental danger so what this means is this could be any of the uh, things on your map that have a circle with some lines in the middle these could be a sun or whatever it is and honestly in my opinion this is the most um, RNG uh, achievement of the stealth cruiser because basically um, there are some paths that literally force you to go into a uh, 
into a hazard and you have no choice over it and your run is over. So for this one, you just have to manage your risk. I would avoid nebulas, avoid rock home worlds or rock controlled because there may be a lot of suns or a lot of nebulas there. But yeah, that's how you get the achievement. Now, for Type C, uh, it's the same as every other ship. All you gotta do is make it to Sector 8 with Type B. So after getting your two achievements, you get to uh, Sector 8 with Type B, and boom, you unlock Type C. On to the video. All right, let's get out of that one. Okay, NG Homeworlds, good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to get what we want here. All right. Awesome job. You have that combat drone though? Okay. So, let's go to the non-star beacon. Nothing on it. Check this out. And we'll go to the distress beacon if nothing happens. Okay, so this is the achievement. Let's use our NG crew member here. Nice. And offer our help, I guess. What does it say? Something, 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 something. Goals analog elements, however, not all. Okay. Add a quest marker. Great. Done. Alright, so we just gotta fight this ship here, and then we we'll get to the quest. Alright, let's jump to this quest. Find out if it's the real quest. If not, then we gotta go all the way down to the other one. Okay, let's fight this ship and find out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate my combat, obviously. I'm gonna get that ion on the shields. And then hopefully he does not get away. Because we can't let him get away in either event if it's the real one or not. So let's just keep hoping here. This combat drone needs to hit something though. Any time would be good. Alright, getting good, good shield damage. Getting some good hits, getting some good hits. Alright, I'm going to have to switch this or he's going to get out of here for sure. There we go, here's his surrender, and it was the real one, so we got our new quest marker. Let's head on over to our new quest. Okay. Very nice, let's head off to this final quest marker. Here we go. And there is our mantis, alright, it says you have finally caught up with the da da da. And hang yourself with mantis ships as you record your new squadron of any ships or pirate ships. Okay, well, we don't really care. All right. Let's put them out. We gotta take down these level 3 shields. It's a pretty beefy ship. So we got some guys coming in our drone control. Let's just send every man I have over there. So let's be honest, everything is done by drones anyway. Um, okay, as we work on those shields, just gotta wait here. Our NG medbot dispersal is really coming clutch though. Hopefully we'll be able to take them out before the cloak comes out. No. Okay, very nice. Got a shot on their steering. On their engines now. I don't think they're going to be dodging anything. One more hit. Hey, alright. Ask about the man of ships. And there you have it, boys. Stealth Cruiser, Stealth Cruiser Quest. And we got the Titanium System casing. Let's go take a look at the ship. All right, so this is the Nasio, ladies and gentlemen. We have three human beings as our crew. Um, our two weapons are the mini beam and the dual lasers, two things which go well together. If you look at our subsystems here, uh, basically we got a level four engines, we got level two uh, weapons, we got some cool scanners, and of course the thing that makes this thing unique is we do have the cloaking. Uh, our two augmentations are the long range scanners and the titanium system gazing. Uh, both very good things. The only problem is you'll notice is that we don't have any shields So one thing you want to do when you start out is make sure that you find yourself some shields They cost about 125 and we will find them at every shop Okay, so let's get this first start uh, first fight started off. Uh, we'll just skip to a fight that's actually relevant here Okay, so our first fight uh, you'll notice they have a beam weapon and of course a beam drone. Now at the beginning this ship really suffers against beam uh, heavy 
uh, ships. So the first thing you want to do is just get rid of whatever is causing the problem. Um, obviously in that case that is two things so it's going to be kind of hard for us but we're going to take out the uh, drone as well as try and take a bit off of the weapons. Um, beam weapons will utterly destroy the ship if they hit the right things and push the right buttons so just watch out for those and of course get your shields as fast as possible. Another good tip for the stealth cruiser of all kinds is to make sure you upgrade your engines and increase your evade chance as much as possible. Okay, so here's one of those ships that we can actually get our achievement with. I got level 3 cloaking, so this should have no problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cloak and see, let's see, I definitely have enough, I just have to be able to hit them all. So I'm going to go for first cloak, because you have to do it before you shoot, and then you flak, lasers, and then we got a mini beam everything. One, two, three, perfect, let's see. Message comes up, there you go. So you gotta wait for that message and we uncloak. Okay, so, got a couple people in here. And Defense True is putting in work, I'll tell you that much. Okay, I wanna save my cloak, now that it's just recharged. I'm gonna wait until another power surge is detected because he can't put up his open shield. I guess he could, maybe refill it. Do I let these go, yeah. I got 35 of 8 chance, but it still hits twice. Oh my frick. Okay, so I don't care about sensors enough. <laughs> Here comes this cloak. Hey, we got it. Nice. That took me way too much time. Okay, um, let's deal with what we got here. Why did I glaive beam? Oh well. Okay, we can do it here. Got everything powered up, dodge through that like a boss, just waiting for the glaive beam. One more flak too, and we're good. Okay, shield's down, let's get some damage. Yo, glaive beam and flak, best combination right there. Alright, we've been doing well so far, hopefully I didn't hit anything. Last and hey, there we go, tactical approach, that's what we wanted, we got our stealth cruiser type B. Fantastic, let's fight this flagship and lose miserably. Alright, so here is our type B, the DASR-12. As you can see, we got a nice looking camo, we've unlocked two of these awesome achievements. Bird of Prey and uh, the other one, Tactical Approach, I think. Our crew is two humans and a Zoltan. We got some six subsystems, level two scanners and level two cloak. We got our long range scanners and a glaive beam as our weapon. So glaive beam, use that Zoltan to uh, get some power. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what you wanna do is get those shields up as soon as possible, obviously. Uh, let's take this guy for a spin. Okay, so this ship um, obviously starts low on power, low on fuel, no drone parts. Um, it only has like five bars of power and everything is directed to the, um, everything is directed to those, uh, to that glaive beam. So this glaive beam works really well. It goes through level uh, two shields and does one damage. If you go through level two, it does three damage on no shields, obviously. So that is like super broken and it has a very nice range. So your glaive beam is your priority and what makes this ship a lot of fun. Um, you definitely have to watch out for drones and <laughs> you know, this is a great start for me. Um, we're getting pummeled here. Uh, you wanna get those shields up as fast as you can and use your level two uh, cloaking to your advantage. Now, as you can see, you take a little bit of hits, um, but you do just destroy anything in one shot, so there's nothing to worry about there. You just take your time, be patient, and go with it. Um, one thing you might notice is you don't start with a titanium system casing, so you don't even get that reduction in damage. And another thing to keep in mind is you will need something to help take down shields later on uh, because your glaive beam won't be able to do anything uh, later on. Um, you will notice as well that you will spend a lot of your money, uh, a lot of your scrap buying power uh, just because you know you only start with the bare minimum. So that's something you definitely got to watch out for. 
Um, one thing to note is you can get your uh, third achievement at the same time as you get uh, type C. So hopefully, uh, I've already gotten the third achievement, but I, you know, I always do it just for fun. Um, so when uh, we jump, hopefully I get uh, type C. And uh, yeah, so let's just heal everybody up here really quick. And we're ready to go. All right, next sector, final stand. And Stealth Cruiser Type C. Here we are. Awesome. So that's how you get Type C. Let's go take a look at the ship. All right, and finally, we're going to take a look at my least favorite ship in the entire game, which is Type C, Simo H of the Stealth Cruiser. Now this is my least favorite ship. I, I hate playing it. It's got a clone bay to start. You do get drone, drone control and you get two shitty weapons that uh, literally do nothing. So your charge laser, obviously you have to time that. You have to take your time and then you use your mini beam as more damage. So your augmentations are long range scanners only. You don't get any titanium ca system casing, nothing like that, nothing special. If you look at your subsystems, everything's pretty standard. You got really low on pretty much everything, and you have no shields. Not only do you have no shields, but you have no scanners. Um, so that means you can't see anything on your own ship. So you're supposed to use your slug and kind of look around. You are supposed to use your little shield uh, drone and what you want to do is create a mini shield around yourself another thing you don't start with is cloaking so there is no cloaking so you don't get cloaking no shields no scanners so there is no way the only shields you have is that drone um, so it's pretty bad the only upside is that you do get an anti-drone so you don't have to worry about beam drones or attack drones you just put up your anti-drone and away you go other than that I really don't like this ship um, so I played through it once, made it to like Sector 2. If you want a challenge though, this is your ship to go. Um, it is very difficult and obviously if you enjoy playing it, go for it. Other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that this guide helped you out. If it did, let me know and I will be sure to finish off this series. I think I got about two more ships to go. And then I will be done. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you all next time.